good morning everyone it's just morning because it's three minutes to 12 and i am sitting in stephen's flat with a blanket and a cup of tea and look how cute this mug is it has a cat on it a santa cat um so yeah today is the first of my two days off i'm off today and tomorrow and i'm actually going into glasgow in about an hour to meet my friend jasmine and um her friend charlotte who's now is essentially my friend um and we're gonna go and do some shopping some christmas shopping and also um do like the markets and first of all we're gonna meet a half one and go to tgi's for some lunch i think we'll have that for lunch and then later on i want to get some mac and cheese from the christmas markets um so that's basically the plan for today and then i'm going to come back here tonight and stay with steven again for another night so yeah we've had a really lazy morning and i need to actually shower now but i'm going to drink my cup of tea first i'm eating prawn crackers <laughs> because we had a takeaway last night and uh, these hadn't been open so i opened them this morning so i'm having some of them um, and that's pretty much it really. It's just going to be like a nice chilled out shopping day and I think it's going to feel really like festive because I feel like we're getting to that point now where it's literally like a week until Christmas, a week tomorrow, so everyone's in a dead festive mood and I think it'll be quite busy probably, um, but it should be a good wee day. Hello, it's me. Thanks. <laughs> so, I'm back at the flat. Cool. I feel so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm back at the flat and we went to sh some shops and I may have bought some stuff. I needed a powder because I have this powder just now, but it's smashed. So I've got another one, which is the Rimmel one. So if this smashes, I'm taking it back. And what else did I buy? I got these for my mum to put in our wee hamper. They're wee Hotel Chocolat chocolates for five pounds. They're quite nice though. She loves Hotel Chocolat, so she'll like that. Just an extra wee thing for our hamper. I got these fluffy socks as well from Bow Avenue. These are really nice, silky soft. They were expensive though, they were five pounds. Good pair of socks. But they're nice and I think my mum will like them so they're going to go in her wee hamper with the chocolates and I bought some shower gel. This stuff smells nice. It smells like fresh. It smells like a man actually. Probably should have bought a more feminine smelling one but it's nice. 
Dots at the Grey Dots Feel Awake. And what else did I buy? These are the most exciting things. Well, I bought a deodorant as well. Mini deodorant for pound from Poundland. And then these, I went into Nars and I treated myself to two little Nars minis. So, £16 each. This one has a mini orgasm. Actually, I could just open it up. That's what I'll do so that I can show you it. Because it has a mini orgasm and a mini orgasm lipstick. I didn't even realise there was an orgasm lipstick. But apparently there is. But I love Nars Orgasm. And I had a mini before and it lasted ages. So the small one's a lot more affordable than the big one. So yay. Got myself one of them. And a mini lipstick. And then this one's got a mini um, Nars Laguna. Which is the bronzer. And then a highlighter. Fort de France highlighter, so they're really cool. So I spent £32 on them, but why not? I don't know what else to say. It's because you're being silent. It's so awkward. I don't know if you wanted me to say it in the background or not. <laughs> so it's currently quarter past ten. That's fine. So it's quarter past ten and we are having a cup of tea, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Final cup of tea of the day and we're watching a Netflix original documentary called The Innocent Man, which is quite interesting but very harrowing at the same time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Basically about, um, currently so far, two people who were wrongly convicted of a rape and a murder, so it's pretty deep. Um, there's still two and a half episodes to go, so we need to find out what happens with the rest of the story. Um, but yeah, that's basically us. We've just had a chilled out evening. Um, and we're just going to have our tea and relax and then go to bed. And yeah, very exciting. Good night. Hello everyone. It's Tuesday and I'm just doing my makeup, so I probably look a bit odd right now because I've only got foundation and concealer on. Um, I'm going to turn this light off actually and show you these fairy lights because they're so cute. Um, we had some spare ones, so last night Stephen and I wrapped them around his bed and how nice are they? I love them. So we had them on last night as like a little night light and I just think they're so sweet. So I'm getting ready and then I am leaving today. Um, I'm leaving about half past two and we're walking to the train station. Stephen's gonna walk me because he's a sweetheart. And then I'm gonna get the train to where my car is. Get off and get my car and go up to my friend Jasmine's where I'll leave my car because tonight we are going to a drive-in movie, which is like near Balloch, I think, like Loch Lomond sort of area. And um, we went last year and we saw Home Alone and this year we're going to see Love Actually so that's on tonight at like half past nine but we're going to leave about five like so that we get a good spot and so that we like get in the queue and things like that so I'll bring my camera along for that and you can see what it looks like it's really well organized and it's really good fun and I loved it last year and it got me really in the festive spirit so I'm hoping it's going to do the same this year. Yesterday was actually like the first day that I felt like really Christmassy um, and I think it's because there were so many beautiful lights all over Glasgow, like when we were shopping, you'll probably have seen some of them in the vlog. Um, and it just felt really festive and obviously we were going around the shops and it felt like people were shopping for Christmas. So it was a really nice day, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready, I've got my makeup here so I'm going to put it all on and dry my hair because it's currently just tied up. Um, and get ready to leave because I'm leaving in half an hour, I need to leave at half two. It's currently two, so I don't have too much longer. Um, but no doubt I'll update you further on once I get to my car or get to Jasmine's, that sort of thing. This is my postie. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> oh, your gammy thumb. <laughs> Stephen hurt his thumb. I don't know if I've told you that part. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. With a knife. He sliced it with a knife at his work. I can't remember if I told you that, but um, he's got 10 stitches. I've got three on my back, so we've got 13. What's this? Baby. Oh, hello. Oh, you like the camera? You like the camera? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
everyone it is Wednesday night it's 10 to 10 and I'm wrapping presents my mum just gave me this cute card look it's my Christmas card and I'm going to show you it against Lottie because it looks really like her do you look like my card is that you Lottie <gasps> <gasps> really does you're super sweet are you guarding the tissue paper is it, is it yours? Can I have that? No, no, okay. So I have just wrapped all of my friend Stacey's because I'm actually going to hers tomorrow after work. Um, so this is her bag here. So she's got a fair few goodies. How many have we got here? Oh, <laughs> um, a couple in there actually, well more than a couple. But this is sort of like the one I'm most excited for for her. Um, and then like a few little bits and bobs. So that's her gift. So I'll see her tomorrow night after work. Um, I'm going to come back here and get changed. And then I'll just go to hers and she's going to make some dinner, I think. Just some like snacky dinner food. So yeah, that's hers. Um, I haven't really wrapped any more. I wrapped one for my sister and also my sister's husband. So my brother-in-law. Um, but aside from that, I haven't actually started wrapping. So... I think I'm going to do some of that tonight just to get ahead of the game because actually we're rapidly running out of time and I have a massive stocking for Stephen to wrap which is probably going to take me like three hours to wrap um, and I have a fair few gifts to wrap because the other thing is because I'm at home um, like my brothers and sisters like if they order something that's from them or even if it's just from like us collectively like I'm always the one that wraps it so I've got a few things to get through. I always have a love-hate relationship with cheap paper and not so cheap paper because this stuff's from B&M. It was a pound for like a massive roll and it is cheap like it's thin cheap stuff but I love how pliable it is and I just love the way that it wraps. You just have to give like a few more layers so it doesn't rip because it very easily rips. Um, so I've got a couple of rails. A couple of rails? No couple of rolls of that and then I've also got some thicker stuff that was from Marks and Spencer but I feel like the thicker stuff's harder to like actually wrap because it's so thick that you can't like twist it you know and like stick it down anyway this is really riveting chat isn't it but basically I'm working between the cheap stuff and the not so cheap stuff so I'm gonna wrap some more gifts and I'll probably put some of that in here just now I'll just like get to the point where I'm just sticking it so you don't see the present because I know that certain people will watch this and they can't see their gift before Christmas. Last night was really really good at the drive-in movie. It was love actually and I love that film and I haven't seen it in a while so like there were bits that I had forgotten and I really really enjoyed that. It was a really nice night and it always just gets me in like the best of mood but we got back at like two in the morning um, so I was really glad I was working the late shift today which was 12 till 8 because I was absolutely shattered. I'm on the early tomorrow. So I'm working quarter to nine until quarter to five. So I don't want to be up too late tonight. I'll go to bed for 12. So I've got a couple hours. I'm just going to get wrapping and yeah, I'll let you see that. Okay, I've done Stephen's stocking. I did a mixture of the two B&M ones. Um, so this is everything for his stocking that I'm now just going to pop back in here. And I think that's me done for the night. I think you just reached this point where you've had enough. So I'm going to chill out um, and watch some YouTube videos and just have a quiet evening. And I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Good night. Good evening, everyone. Is this focus? And oh my God, how bad is my skin today? That's not good. Um... I'm keeping the voice down because everyone's in bed, but it's basically Thursday night. It's currently, what time is it? A uh, quarter to 12. Look at my nails as well. I need to take this nail brush off. Um, I'm feeling really like fed up today. I don't know. I just wrapped a couple of hampers. You can probably see them sitting there. I'm covered in sticky tape. Um, and they're going to work tomorrow for my manager and my section coordinator. Um, that's basically hit my knee. That's basically what we did from the team this year. We got them like hampers instead of giving them just a bottle or something like that. Um, so they're all wrapped. They look really nice. I'll pull one over and I'll show you.
I used the boxes that you get in Poundland, the general store ones that are all over the place at the moment, so literally a pound. Uh, the stuff inside was a pound, and then a bottle of Prosecco from m and for three pound. Pound for the Smarties. Um, this hand cream was one that my mum had had, she had a pack of them, so I popped one of them in. Um, and then some fluffy socks, and then a soap candle and um, this candle that's gone like squint that's annoying and um, that candle you get in poundland for a pound the soap's a pound in poundland and then these are a pound from MS. so yeah this is my little hamper um, and i think they're really going to appreciate that so they have one each they're basically exactly the same except pink socks and grey socks um, and yeah i'll give them to them tomorrow yeah, I don't know why I just feel really fed up. I have like so much to tidy up in my room. I need to take my nail varnish off because this is atrocious. I'm working in the morning and I'm just like, ah. But I do have till like half 12, so I've got like 45 minutes to sort my life out basically. Um, but never mind. I think I just need to like chill. Like I just, oh, I don't know. I'm in one of those moments where I feel like I could cry at any minute. And that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but that's honestly how I feel like every single thing is annoying me. <sighs> Anyway, I went to see my friend Stacey earlier, and I wasn't annoyed at that point, so that was good. And she got me a really sweet present, actually. I'm going to share with you some of the stuff, um, but to be honest, I think I'll share it in the morning because I'm having a whisper because everyone's in bed, honestly. Like, see tonight, everything is just winding me up. So I'm going to call it quits, and I'm going to go to bed, and I will show you what she got me in the morning, and hopefully I'll be in a better mood. Good morning, everyone. As ever, I am running late. Um... Oh, I'm out of breath because I just came upstairs. But basically, I am going to work today. Let's see if I can set that on that. There we go. Um, I'm going to work and it's my last working day before Christmas. So this weekend is my weekend off. So I've fallen really lucky for Christmas this year because it's my weekend off this weekend. I don't work Mondays, so that means I'm off Christmas Eve. And I'm off Christmas because obviously we're closed. Um, the shop isn't open on Christmas Day. And then the Wednesday is my day off anyway. So I've been really, really lucky with the way that it's fallen and I'm managing to get five days off. I have so much to do tonight. I need to wrap all of my presents. Um, and I need to edit this vlog and get this good to go. So I could take my MacBook to Stephen right now because I'm going to take the car to his this weekend. Um, I'm going through tomorrow because I um have a lot of presents and i'm not going to carry them on the train but the only other thing is that there's a football match on near where he stays um he's starting near celtic park stadium and it's going to be mental so i'm going to have to go through early tomorrow so i don't catch that traffic and so that i get a space which means i have so much less time so i'm gonna to have to be super on the ball tonight anyway i need to dry my hair because i'm running late as ever and i'll speak to you tonight once i'm home from work and once i'm on my five days off good morning everyone i've just eaten some shortbread so do ignore that um but it's saturday morning don't ask why i mean shortbread for breakfast i had a spare one i was wrapping presents last night and uh this is a year the little christmas tree so i opened them last night and i just had one there um Anyway, back to the story. It is Saturday morning and I am just up. It's currently about quarter to nine. I need to get a move on because I'm heading through to Glasgow today to go to Stevens. I have a few things to do this morning though. Um, so I need to get a move on because I haven't even packed my bag or worked out what I'm going to wear over the next couple of days. But basically I'm going to go and stay with him um, tonight and tomorrow night and then leave early christmas eve morning i'm taking the car through for the first time and i'm a little bit apprehensive because i've never driven there because it is like it's the start of the city like it's not a city center but it is in the city and i hate city driving and just like the roads are unfamiliar to me and i'm just a bit nervous about it all but i'm just gonna have to do it um and that's how i had to be with all of my driving i've always hated driving but then I just got to the point where it just had to happen. Um, I was no longer with my like sort of first serious boyfriend and he would normally drive everywhere when we went like up north and then that ended so I just had to like learn to drive myself. So I'll literally drive anywhere up north now but I'm nervous about going on the motorway and driving to Glasgow which I know how to get there. Like just need to get on the M8, come off on the M73, join the M74 and then come off at the right junction. So it's really not difficult. Um, but I am a little bit apprehensive, but I'm just going to go and do it. And then once I've done it once, I've done it. And I can do it anytime. So I'm going to head downstairs and get in the shower. I'm going to plug in this um, camera to charge. Um, 
but yeah sorry i didn't speak to you last night i just basically came home and wrapped presents i'll show you them in a bit but i have so many presents to, to take to stevens and i haven't even finished wrapping all my presents yet and stupidly didn't wrap my friend jasmine's and i'm seeing her on christmas eve so that was silly i'm gonna have to wrap up when i come back on christmas eve i'm getting there with the wrapping but we actually ran out of sale tape so that's why i couldn't finish it last night or i probably would have um but i'm gonna go for now get in the shower get the day started and i'll update you throughout the day so i made it to where i need to be like i feel a little bit emotional i think because i was so nervous and there was one particular point that i told you about earlier that I didn't want to hit and when I hit it I was just shaking and it just makes me so nervy driving in especially cities but just like places I don't really know although for some reason I'm totally fine up north um, with places I don't know but I don't like roads that have like loads of lanes I feel really stressed in them whereas if it's single file I'm like well there's only one way that we can go I can only be in one lane um but I made it I made it and I got a space because I'm so happy because basically as it gets closer to game time um, all these spaces are, are going to go and I wanted to get one like this it's like slanted because there's no way that anyone can like parallel park like near me and like hit my car or anything like that like if they hit my car here then they're being an absolute idiot um, but yeah I'm so so chuffed that I made it I'm actually going to message Stephen and be like I made it to your flat um, he's gone into town he's getting his hair cut and also getting his beard trimmed so I'm just going to go into the flat myself but I've got some keys that's fine um and i have like loads of presents in the boot so i might take up do you know what i'll probably just take up and down actually maybe not <laughs> we'll wait for steven because there's a lot and he's literally in the top floor of the flat so um that's going to be fun if i have to carry it all up and there's a guy just pulled up opposite me and he's definitely going to be looking at what i'm doing okay he's not but i'm going to stop before he does so I made it up to the flat. I had a bit of a struggle with Stephen's door because it's a bit iffy. Um, you have to like pull the door towards you to actually get the key to turn and it was a bit of a nightmare. But after about five minutes I got in. So I'm in the flat and I'm gonna arrange his presents. I've got them here in bags, but there are a few things left in the car. But to be honest, I think I might just go down and get them because I'm not doing anything anyway. And that means that they're all in. I've just got a stocking and a couple of boxes. So I think I'll just go down and get it because then we are done. And all my presents are at the tree. I'm so excited. I'll flip this around then I'll show you mine. I've definitely been spoiled this year. Um, a lot of these are from Stephen's family, which are really cute. And then these ones, where are they from? Oh, they're from his family as well, his grand and grandpa. And then these ones I think are from Stephen, because I think that's his wrapping. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. I think that's the one that the cat half opened. <laughs> but I think these are from Stephen. Um, and yeah, that's so exciting. So I don't know if I told you, but basically we're going to open gifts tomorrow because he's going to North Uist obviously to be with his family and he flies out on Christmas Eve. So the idea was that we were going to have like a nice festive day and open gifts. So I'm going to stick these tree lights on. We're getting up close and personal. Um, and it was really weird because obviously Stephen has a cat um, and the cat's normally here, but the cat's gone to his flatmate's home for Christmas so the cat isn't here so it was really weird coming in and not being greeted by a little Musa um, and at first I was like oh my god as he ran out I was like panicking thinking that he'd like left as I came in um, but then I remembered he's not here but I've got a little gift for Musa as well so he's gonna get where is it this one you can tell it's for a cat because it makes a noise that's his present. So yeah, I'm gonna go down in the car and get the rest of the stuff, um, bring it up, and then I'm gonna place it all under the tree, and then I will show you it when it's done. So this is all of Stephen's presents, his stocking, and this stuff. And it's a very festive tree, isn't it? There's lots of gifts. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not festive. <laughs> See in the background. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Oh, okay. What time is it? I don't know. Why? What's your perfect woman feel like? Flashy, flashy. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a watch from Stephen. I don't, I don't even get where you were going with that. Do you like my new watch? This is what Stephen got me for Christmas, didn't he pick well? <laughs> yeah it's very pretty it has like silver mesh strap and it's a Ted Baker watch and it's got a pink face I don't think it's shown up very well on camera but it's very nice so basically 
We opened some presents tonight, didn't we? Nah, just one or two. Mm, more than two. But we can't help ourselves. We've got a tree full of presents. So, yeah. Stephen wanted me to open this one to see if I liked it. And I love it. It's a very good choice. See, he knows that I don't wear a watch. I was, I was blah, 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 blah. telling Stephen earlier, I have one watch um, that I got from my graduation, but I don't wear it a lot. I only really wear it if like I go out out because it's very special and I don't want to ruin it. I want to keep it for like the memories. Um, not that I want to ruin your watch, Stephen, but I just feel like I could wear this as like an everyday watch, you know? Um, so yeah, it's very, very cute. And Stephen got his mug, didn't you? Aye. <laughs> I really appreciate being called Sleepyhead, but anyway. He's a sleepyhead, and I'm, mine says that I'm a princess. Yeah, I bought us both muck. And we're watching Outlander! So yeah, we're just going to have a cup of tea and watch some more Outlander, and that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. So I'm going to go. Next week, you're going to see Christmas! You meant to get excited about Christmas. Christmas! Yay! <laughs> So yeah, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas because when you're watching this, it'll be like two days before Christmas tomorrow. And uh, yeah, have a great time with your family, friends and loved ones. And I will see you next week for another very festive vlog. Say it in Bye! I don't know how to say it in Gaelic, you say it. Huh? No, like Quick. Creole.